Hello friends welcome to the new video. It's an old story and one that lives on in both the fiction of Hunter S. Thompson and Johnny Depp. Years ago, after the writer's death by suicide, many of his famous friends and acquaintances attended his funeral and later a memorial service at which Johnny Depp fired a rocket. But it wasn't just any rocket. It was a custom cannon that threw the late writer's ashes into the sky. Dear friends don't forget to subscribe our channel for more informative videos. It's an old story and one that lives on in both the fiction of Hunter S. Thompson and Johnny Depp. Years ago, after the writer's death by suicide, many of his famous friends and acquaintances attended his funeral and later a memorial service at which Johnny Depp fired a rocket. But it wasn't just any rocket. It was a custom cannon that threw the late writer's ashes into the sky. Wiener is a real help. Interestingly, there are conflicting reports about how much the tribute event cost Depp for Hunter S. Thompson, who played the writer in the film adaptation of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. As noted above, Wiener says it cost the actor millions of bucks. Reports floating around the internet often elaborate on that number and say that Depp actually spent $3 million on the tribute to his friend, a number that his former managers so I think there was a world where there was $1 million for the canon and another million dollars for everything else involved. It's also worth noting, though, that the 5 million figure was withheld by Depp's legal team when he had money troubles. The book value was $3 million. The actor and his lawyers argued it was $5 million. Depp's large financial losses later resurfaced during his subsequent court cases involving Amber Heard. What is clear? At least seven figures were involved, a strong indication whatever the truth. A veritable who's who of famous names attended the event in Hunter S. Thompson's hometown of Woody Creek, Colorado. Given the author's famous connections, this was certainly not the first time a celebrity had visited the city, but reports from the time indicated that a large number of celebrities from various walks of life attended, who me John Kerry, Jack Nicholson, John Cusack, Bill Murray, Benicio Del Toro, Sean Penn, Josh Hartnett, George McGovern and of course Ralph Steadman. Gene Wiener was also there. Depp himself once spoke about the moment, via the Daily Record noting that bringing everyone together was the perfect practical joke, but also to distract him from the heavy thought that Thompson was suffering from gunshot wounds. Had gone out. Own person. It's unclear why Johnny Depp felt the need to go out of his way to throw such a spectacle for his friend. The two spent time together in 1994 when the then-young actor signed her to star in Fear and Lo- it's possible that it was a level of regret that caused Depp to shoot Thompson's ashes into the sky, or perhaps, of course, it was the right thing to do for his friend, an individual who during his lifetime influenced culture. Left an extraordinary mark. Thanks for watching our videos.